Me. So today we're doing a timeless pick a card reading. Also want to let you guys know for the month of January of 2023, if you subscribe, like, and comment on any of the videos in January of 2023, you will be put in for the chance to win a free reading and I'm choosing the winner on February 1st so be sure to do that. But today I felt very very called to doing this video and we're gonna see like the brutally honest truth. So lately I have been kind of in a weird mood where like <clears throat> I want to know the truth of things or I, I just don't want to hear it, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, this, this topic, I've kept like hearing it in the back of my head all day today. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll do that. And then I tried I had a pre-recorded video for today, but for some reason, it would not work. It would not, like, upload to my iPad at all, so I was like, okay, I guess I have to film something else. So, we're doing this today, and I chose makeup because this is, we're not going to be covering up things. Like, we're going to be pretty much, like, taking off the makeup. So, um, we're going to start off with pile one as, this is Venus 2. If you guys don't know, I also like makeup a lot. Um, I used to buy a lot of makeup, but I haven't really been into buying too much makeup lately because I haven't really had the space to like store it. But we have option two, I believe this is. It's Revlon Peach and Glow. Option three, Salute Paris. Her option four, this is Jeffree Star Lipstick. So if you'd like to pause the video and choose whichever makeup item you feel most called to, I'll see you guys at your pile. Bye! Hello, this is for everyone that chose option one or the Venus 2 makeup. So today we're going to see the brutally honest truth. So first I'm going to see what your situation is and then I'm going to give you my or spirits brutally honest truth about your situation so <clears throat> I did pre-pull the cards but starting off with this makeup uh, so this lady I'm kind of picking up like innocence I don't know is this Aphrodite well maybe it's Venus <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't know, something about the beauty. Maybe you guys are feeling... This is what the makeup looks like. Maybe you guys are feeling like... <clears throat> almost taken away by the beauty of something or someone. I feel like something is like pulling your energy or wanting... Yeah, it's giving me like Aphrodite, like... Something is really, it looks really good on the outside, but I don't know if it is good for you. So let's see what the cards say. I'm going to put that over there. <clears throat> we have tea tree and my voice feels like it's starting to go out as well. First house, 12th house. These cards are backwards. We have focus on career. I love our car rides. They want to talk, two ones reverse, the fool, and happy squirrel in reverse. I'm going to pull one more tarot card. Okay, brutally honest truth for pile one. We have the empress. Alright, so first, what is going on with you guys? So again, I feel like there is something maybe that you're tempted by or that you wish to have, 
but something about the timing maybe is not right at this moment. Okay, I'm almost picking up. Okay, so I'm picking up that it's like your focus or you've been putting your focus onto something, but you should actually be putting it onto something else. Yeah, I feel like there's something that you really want that you've been like feeling drawn towards, but it hasn't, something about it has not been working out. Some of you, this is like a relationship or just another person in your life that maybe you've been trying to get close to, but it, it just has not been working. Like you haven't been able to get close or start a relationship or... It feels like there's almost something in the way, but like you're you're maybe still trying to go at it. Or if you're not, like you're you're still putting your attention onto it. Yeah, with binding, you could even feel like you're again, I keep picking up this word like tempted or like drawn in by something. Uh this person could be like trying to draw you in maybe this is like through maybe they're messaging you a lot calling you a lot or they give you um maybe they talk about stuff that they want to do with you and it's like it's really tempting but you know that your focus should be elsewhere so if that sounds like you <laughs> the brutally honest truth is i feel like you guys need to take your focus off whatever that is it feels like it's distracting you it's pulling away from it's pulling you away from something you really want for some of you it's like pulling you away from a career that you really want money that you really want or something that has to do with your abundance yeah i love our cards i feel like this person is like maybe even trying to take you away some of you this person may want to like move somewhere with you or like take you on a trip but like right now I feel like is not the right time for you to do that. Some of you it's like you either focus on your love life or you focus on your career like right now you can't do both you have to do one or the other and I feel like for most of you maybe your love life just isn't really working out. So, spirit saying, like, focus on your career, focus on, like, yourself and growing your own things. We have the full card down here, so having a new beginning. They also, <clears throat> the brutally honest truth as well, is, like, you guys need to be more confident in yourself. You may be so focused on this other person because... I hear like you don't feel like you deserve better so some of you this is like an ex or someone that really can't give you too much right now even if you two did get together or did if you two did s start something oh my gosh <laughs> this person could have a blocked throat chakra or maybe you've been facing throat chakra issues Also hearing that some of you, this person is like sneaky. They don't have good intentions. Spirit's saying like you deserve better. Um, but they want you to work on yourself. They want you to grow something for yourself. Some of you may even have an idea or some kind of idea that you want to start. And Spirit's saying to go do that. They, okay, we have up here 12th house seeking oneness with all there is, philanthropy, keep your involvement hidden. For some of you, this person could maybe want like a secret relationship. They're also saying that you don't need to tell everyone your plans or ideas. But they want you to take action. They want you to take action on... Like something with your career or money or 
an idea you have. They don't want you to keep focusing on a relationship in your life. Oh my gosh, because honestly, it feels like maybe this person really isn't going anywhere or this person isn't really like gonna take you anywhere. Like this person may be saying a lot of stuff, but they don't do a lot. Um, let me see if I can pick up anything else. Someone could be an earth sign, air sign. I'm also picking up someone needs to buy like perfume or buy something to make their house smell good. Something about scents. Or maybe someone recently did that. They bought perfume or like a candle for their house or something. Also, if you feel like you can't really like walk away from this person, they're also saying maybe you need to set boundaries or you need to tell someone that maybe you can't hang out at certain times, you can't talk at certain times, or you need time to yourself. That's for those that you feel like this person keeps trying to bother you though. Someone on here just like needs to tell someone no. So that's what I'm saying for pile one. Hope that resonates. If you guys are interested in personal reading, link is down below. Bye guys. Hello, this is for everyone that chose option two. So today we're gonna see the brutally honest truth. And I felt called to this video like all fucking day. So um obviously this isn't gonna be a sugar-coated reading. None of my readings are, but this one's gonna be very blunt. So if you don't feel ready for that, maybe don't watch this. Okay, so you guys chose this, which is the peach and glow. Let me show you guys what it looks like. How beautiful. <laughs> okay, so. Hmm. First, I'm going to see what's going on with you guys or in your situation, and then I'll give you guys the brutally honest truth that you need to hear. I'm hearing, like, tucked away, something's kept secret. I don't know if maybe you have a secret or someone else has a secret. I'm kind of get getting that this might be you. I feel like maybe you have like a hard exterior or you try and look maybe one way but when but you're like the other way <laughs> you're actually not like that or this for some of you this is like someone around you I'm also this is kind of remind me of a door so someone may want to like come over to your place or Maybe someone recently visited you. Okay, so let's see what the cards say. Basil. Okay, we have Virgo, so you could be a Virgo. We have Cancer, so you could be a Cancer. Or again, this could be regarding someone else. Maybe they're a Virgo or Cancer. Their friends talk about you. I don't know why, but when I was reading that, I heard in my head that their friends are thinking about you. Okay, so generational wealth, ignoring emotions. You have the chariot, four of swords reversed and three of pentacles reversed. This also says reconciliation. Okay, so what's going on with you guys? I don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling like a sad energy. So I don't, for some of you, this, this does feel like it has to do with another person or situation. Obviously there's quite a few energies about like your emotions. And I said in the beginning, like maybe you have like a hard exterior, someone else does in your life, like they're not really showing their true colors. For some of you, this could be you doing that because maybe you don't want people to take advantage of you or you don't want to get hurt. I am, yeah, I was also picking up in the beginning too, like 
something about like perfectionist or like someone on here could have like OCD and we literally have resulting from the perfectionist mom. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> methods for the healing power of the analyzing of <laughs> oh geez okay in cancer your feelings attitudes from the past about use your intuition and okay so starting off i feel like there could be maybe people talking about you like your friends are talking about you or i'm getting that maybe your friends or someone around you has said something to you but like you kind of acted like it didn't hurt you when it actually did. This doesn't even have to be friend or family. This could also be love interest. Just take what resonates. But maybe someone, like someone said something or did something that really hurt you. But now you're acting like it didn't hurt you. So maybe you got in a, f well I don't want to say fight with someone because you didn't. This is almost giving me like when you when you go and talk to someone and then you say something stupid to them and then like later that day you'll just keep replaying that conversation in your head and like you think of ways that you could have said things differently or done something differently because you just felt stupid in the moment or you maybe you felt like you were too nervous to speak up so that's kind of the energy that i'm getting like maybe you keep replaying a conversation or something that happened in your head and you're thinking of what you could have done differently but you didn't do something differently so you could maybe be having some regrets or like again this feels like just a past situation that you regret something it's either like you regret not doing something regret not saying something but now for some of you this is like two separate situations like this could be involving a friend and like a love interest because i feel like like you could have spoken up but you didn't Okay, so let's see. What's the brutally honest truth of that situation sounds like you? So, the brutally honest truth. Do you guys actually need to speak up for yourself? Oh my gosh, I'm hearing people cannot read your mind. <laughs> if you feel like someone said something hurtful, like, you can tell them. You don't have to be mean about it, but you can just be like, hey, like that wasn't very nice <laughs> or you can say something to them to let them know that it affected you like you don't have to keep hiding your feelings because these people are not aware of how you're feeling and again spirit saying like they cannot read your mind you need to be blunt with these people <laughs> oh my gosh i'm even hearing if this is like regarding a friend <laughs> Oh my god, I'm hearing so, maybe you, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is what I'm hearing, because this is a brutally honest reading, but maybe, maybe some of your friends are, like, this family member is kind of stupid. Oh my god. Like, they lack, like, knowledge. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's just what I'm hearing. Um, oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> like, whoever said something to you, like, they're just not the smartest. Or when they said something, like, they were just being stupid. Like, you can call them out for it, or you can bring up. Some of you maybe want to, like, bring up an old conversation that you have with someone or bring up something that they said like spirit saying go right ahead like go do that with the chariot card like if if you feel like you need to 
like I'm hearing hash something out with someone. <laughs> Why is this making me laugh? Um, you guys, I feel like also maybe need to not take things so seriously too. Um, a lot of people honestly like when they say stuff they don't even know what the fuck they're saying half the time a lot of people are like in their own world they're focused on their own things and some people just say things to say things again for someone on here like maybe this person isn't sharpest tool in the shed you know <laughs> oh my gosh Oh, that's funny. So I feel that you guys need to like, maybe lighten up too. Maybe you just need to joke around about something that happened or something that someone said and like, take it more as a joke. Also, if someone said something mean, like you bring it up and they like, don't really say anything about it. This could also be like, just people projecting on you. Like, let's say, someone calls you ugly <laughs> and you maybe don't even feel like you're ugly well this person may feel like either they're ugly or some aspect of themselves is ugly so just maybe take it as <laughs> this person's talking about themselves <laughs> that could be a way to like lighten the mood for you guys is just take it like you're talking to themselves <laughs> Oh, jeez. Um, okay, anything else? Yeah, just keep hearing. People don't know what you're thinking, so you just need to, you need to speak up. Talk about your feelings. I know sometimes it's hard to, especially if someone was kind of mean, like, but it's better to let it out and just get it over with, then think about it for the rest of your life, you know? <laughs> like, at least I don't want to be thinking about a conversation or something that I said that was dumb for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, or at least a long time. Like, I don't want to keep thinking about it every day. Like, this could be a situation that Spirit is just saying, like, get it over with, just bring something up, say something and just see what happens i don't feel like anything bad is going to be happening though if this is like a friendship or family member or something that you're trying to maybe get on good terms again i do feel like you guys will at least have an understanding of each other or they'll at least understand like what's going on with you Spirit saying like you just don't need to hide everything you're feeling like you can you can open up you guys I feel maybe a little defensive or someone else's or maybe both of you are I'm hearing that you don't need to like fight someone like you don't need to start yelling and stuff like you can just go up to them and have a calm conversation if this person decides to start yelling then you'll know maybe they're not mature enough to have a real conversation with you <laughs> okay let me pull like one or two cards for the generational wealth some of you this could be regarding money yeah maybe you you got the wrong vibe from someone or like you're talking shit about you yeah didn't i say that like, i feel like someone maybe said shit to you or like maybe they're talking shit about you to other people and like there's you want to confront them but like you're scared to Spirit is saying, don't hold back though, <laughs> just, just do it in a calm way. Okay, anything else? Um, some of you may need to start off with like, maybe joking around with this person or saying something funny. 
I feel like there needs to be humor. Either like you need to start off with humor with this person or you need to take things lightly. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying for Pile 2. Hope that resonates and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, this is for everyone that chose Pile 3 or the Salute Paris. So today we're going to see the brutally honest truth. I felt very called to doing this video. And obviously, if you don't feel ready for the brutally honest truth, do not watch this. Okay, so let's see messages from this. So I was noticing, like, I don't know what happened to this part or if it's supposed to be like that. This is kind of reminding me of like fog or something. So something may seem foggy. I'll show you guys what the palette looks like. Oh, and there's a hair. I swear my hair gets everywhere. Uh, someone's name could start with an E. I'm feeling like maybe a need to relax. Or someone could have recently taken a trip. So let's see what the cards say. So first we're going to see what's going on. And then we'll see the brutally honest truth. We have salt, protection, Aries. So you could be an Aries, North Node, shopping, new clothes. You have karma, your energy triggers me. Ace of Wands reversed, the Emperor reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed. I'm just going to read what these cards say. Energies to meet the challenge of your desires regarding resulting from the honesty and strength of. Have faith in, do not worry about, now is the time to. Okay, so what's going on with you guys? I feel like there's a situation kind of stressing you guys out. Some of you, this has to do with, like, bills, money, your job. I feel like it may have to do more with, like, the physical things. Not necessarily, like, another person, but maybe for some of you it has to do with another person. Oh, okay, yeah. For some of you, it could have to do with another person. Um... Some of you may be worried about what other people are going to think about something or currently what, like you're worried about their thoughts or how they're going to view you. I'm also picking up with this group, you could have a person or people Maybe sending you some negative energy, so you may be picking up like evil eye energy. I don't feel, I don't really feel black magic, but you could just be sensing that maybe some people <laughs> I heard are salty, <laughs> are salty towards you, or would be salty towards you if you did something. Okay, so if that sounds like you, now we're going to see the brutally honest truth. So, right away, spirit saying to stop fucking worrying. <laughs> you guys maybe tend to be worry warts. Like, spirit saying just calm down. <laughs> just relax, take a breather. Um, some of you, I feel like, haven't even been having like deep breaths. Like, you haven't been breathing like through your stomach area. You've just been breathing in like your upper chest area. So just take right now, take this time to do a deep breath. Spirit saying, everything's okay. You're okay. Things are gonna work out for you. Things are working out for you. You don't need to worry. I just keep hearing you don't need to worry. I'm picking up that something unexpected may happen and this is going to be something really good for you. A lot of you, I feel, with the karma card, you guys have a lot of good karma. And I heard like it's racking up. 
So you have a lot of good karma that's been racking up and it's just a matter of time before something really good happens to you. Spirit's also saying if there is like someone that did something to you, like again, maybe they've been sending you evil eye energy or they did something maybe to try and sabotage you or sabotage something that you've been trying to get, they're definitely going to be getting their karma. So spirit saying don't worry about this other person either. If Even if it seems like things are good in their life, like you don't know what's going on in their head. Um, I've noticed with a lot of like when some people get like karma and when they get bad karma it doesn't necessarily have to be something going on in their environment like this person may start dealing with like emotional or mental issues like depression anxiety overthinking just like a lot going on in their head so again if you I feel like someone on here like wants someone to get some kind of karma. Um, again, if you're not seeing it physically, they're definitely getting it mentally. <laughs> I'm hearing paranoid. This person may be kind of paranoid or becoming paranoid. And if they did something to you, I feel like something is going to be happening to them very similar. It's going to cause them to get paranoid, especially if it causes you to maybe get paranoid or kind of worried. Okay, so... Yeah, a lot of you are worried about your money or your career. You feel like it's not going to work. You feel like you've been working a lot or putting in a lot of energy. Some of you, you feel like you just, you've been really nice to people and you don't get nice things back. Like you feel like you just keep getting bad karma. Or like people keep doing shit to you. But I feel like there's going to be, whatever you've been worried about, it's going to be solved. Um, but Spirit wants you to have faith in them. I'm also hearing maybe you need to pray. You guys also need to do cord cutting or something to protect your energy. Because I do feel like for some of you, you've been picking up someone else's negative energy. Because someone I feel like is like, I don't know if this is current or future energy, but they're going to be kind of triggered that you get some kind of success or like you move down from them. Maybe it's an ex or something. I also see bath salt, so maybe doing a bath with salt would also help you guys. Epsom salt. Also, a spirit saying, follow your intuition, like, your intuition is spot on. If you feel like you need to take action on something, take action. They're saying that your fear is holding you back. Your worrying is holding you back. So do things that get you out of that energy. Some of you, I feel like you maybe just need to clean your house, do some kind of protection spell, and then just <laughs> maybe talk to yourself positively, talk about how things are going to go right for you. Maybe you need a journal, write down all the things that you want, but write it like you already have it. I'm also hearing, like, if anyone has done shit to you, if anyone stabbed you in the back, they're going to get their karma, so don't worry about that either. Whatever you've been desiring, you're going to receive it, I'm hearing. 
Some of you maybe have been wanting money to go shopping, get new clothes, purchase something new. I'm hearing a new car, new house. You're going to be able to do that. But again, uh, I feel that you just need to stop worrying, stop being scared. <laughs> Believe that things are going to work out for you because they fucking are. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying for pile three. Hope that resonates and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, this is for everyone that chose pile four, so today we're gonna see the brutally honest truth. Obviously, if you don't want to hear that, just don't watch this. And if this doesn't resonate for you, maybe choose a different pile, or again, maybe just don't watch this, or I don't know, watch a different video or something. Okay, so... Why does this look so dry? I've had this for a long time, so maybe that's why. I think I had this for like three years, but I haven't used it in like three years. <laughs> okay, so some of you, maybe this is regarding something from your past because I was bringing up like I've had this for three years. Also looking at these stars, I heard five stars, so maybe something about a review, or almost, I'm kind of picking out maybe someone's reviewing you or watching you. Okay, so let's see what the cards say. i put that right here. First I'm going to see what's going on, and then we'll see the brutally honest truth. Okay, Yar Yarrow. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Okay, ninth house. <laughs> Tenth house. I miss you. Ghosting. Sleepless nights. Three of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Eight of Swords. Okay, so what's going on? Okay, for a lot of you, this has to do with uh, another person. Because we got Three of Swords and we got Knight of Pentacles. We got I Miss You, Ghosting. So for some of you, there could be someone that misses you. Okay, uh, yeah, honestly, I don't feel like this is really your energy. So you may be trying to move on from someone. This could, this doesn't have to be love. This could be like friend or a family member. Also her coworker, maybe even a job. Something maybe that you felt really sad over in the past, but like I feel that some of you are actually finally starting to move on from it Or you're about to Okay, expulsion Facial scrub Looks like it's a lot of stuff for your face Okay, we have ninth house as if it, <laughs> as if it, or they came from all there is. The philosophies and laws involved do it in a big way. Tenth house, your destiny, where you're going, your career. Okay, so I do see that something or someone wants you to come back. Or they will want you to come back. This person could be sending you a message, giving you some kind of gift. They could even be just like explaining how, I'm hearing explaining how they missed out or how, again, how they miss you. If this has to do with a job, they could be saying like you were their best worker. If this is a partner, they could be saying, like, we were so good together, I love you, I miss you, I want you back. 
this is a friend they could be saying like i i miss hanging out with you i miss talking to you so i feel like maybe some of you aren't sure what to do let me pull a few more cards okay burly on his truth for pile four I, I'm hearing the song Poker Face by Lady Gaga. So you could have a poker face. <laughs> you could be not showing someone your emotions, how you're feeling. We have Energy Vampire. Let go of what no longer serves you. We have Parent, so this could be a parent. You could be a parent. We have Third Party. Some of you feel like you're obligated to go back to someone. Okay, so what's so brutally honest truth? <laughs> Spirit saying you don't fucking have to go back to anyone. You don't have to go back to anything. Especially if you didn't like it or especially if there was something off with it. Some of you, this person involved you in a third party situation. They were kind of sneaky or something about it was like a little sketch. Like... This person could have played a lot of games. If this is like a work or like a career or something, this, this career maybe said in the past like they'd give you raises, bonuses, vacations, but it's like maybe this, maybe this job would even kind of play games with you. Like they would say a lot, but then they wouldn't give you exactly what they said. Or if there's someone on here, like, maybe you had to sign some kind of contract and they had, like, something written in small letters and you didn't see it and you signed it. And then later on, they're like, oh, well, didn't you read the small letters? It's like, no. <laughs> something like that. But, again, for some of you, this has to do with, like, someone that you had a relationship with, like a family, friend, love interest. I'm hearing come back home. Someone may want you to like move back with them or yeah, someone wants like to start over or a fresh start. I'm hearing clean slate. Okay, some of you, it's like spirit is saying that you started to move on from this person or situation for a fucking reason. Like, something about it was fucking sketch. <laughs> and it's like, that's why you already started to move away. And it's like, spirit's like, why the fuck would you go back? Especially if this thing hasn't changed, this person hasn't changed, or this job... Like, they still have the same policies, they still have the same people working there. It's like, why the fuck do you feel like you need to go back? Yeah, spirit is... You, get, you, you guys may be getting, like, nudges to just completely drop this thing. Some of you may have already done that. But I feel like whatever this is, it may come back around for those that it hasn't already. Uh, you felt trapped in this. Again, maybe because of some kind of contract. Maybe this is like a marriage or something. Or again, this could have to do with your work. Or I'm also hearing relationship status. So this could have been someone that you were dating. Um... But spirit is saying that you can drop this person, you can drop this thing, and you can have a new beginning. You can start over. You can start fresh. Someone on here wants to move, like, far away. <laughs> spirit is saying, go fucking do that. Like, if you feel excited to go do something, spirit wants you to go do it. They don't want you to go back to things that will put you back into this like sad, confused, anxious energy. They want you to like go have fun. 
yeah they feel like you haven't been having much fun or you haven't been having much fun with whatever whoever this person is some of you it's an earth sign I'm hearing round two and then I'm seeing like a vision of um, I don't remember what those video games are called but like the wrestlers like WWE or something <laughs> Uh, this could be involving maybe another person maybe you two have kids together and they want you to come live with them again they want you to just give them a, another chance and spirit is saying bluntly that you don't fucking have to you got free will you're not tied to anything you're not tied to anyone if even if you are, if there's a contract, you can find a way to get out of it. Someone I'm hearing, maybe you just need to get a different lawyer or something. But like, you can get the fuck out of it. They want you to be cautious because they want you to see if this person has actually changed or not. Some of you maybe need, this has to do with a love situation maybe you need to start off as friends and see how they act as friends and then go from there i'm not necessarily saying that you need to like test someone but for some of you maybe you actually need to you need to like test the waters with this person before you jump into something they don't want you to jump into something big or some kind of commitment with this person or again, some kind of contract before you know exactly what you're signing up for. Something about this person may have like ghosted you when you needed help or when you needed them the most. Again, for a few of you, this is like a job. I mean, like someone could have really injured themselves and like this job was not there for you when you fucking needed them. They didn't want to give you, like, your insurance money or something. So some of you, it's like, if you want to go back to this thing, test it out. Don't jump into it. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Just put one in first, see how it does. Put another one in, see how it does. <laughs> Like, just don't give your frickin' whole dozen of eggs right away. Don't give <laughs> a whole dozen right away. Um, for others, if you already know that this person or situation is the exact same, spirit saying, you can fucking end it. You can have your own new beginning. If you've been worried that you won't find something like this i'm hearing that you're gonna find something better something that's more on your level something that's not gonna keep taking from you because i feel with the energy vampire like this thing has been taking from you and not really giving you too much but overall spirit saying that you're not trapped like you have free will you can do whatever you want it's up to you. But again, they just don't want you to get yourself caught into something that doesn't make you happy again, I'm hearing. For some of you, it is again. For others, maybe not. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for Pile 4. Hope that resonates. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, like us down below. Bye, guys.